Our top story demands for discipline against any LAPD officers who made a shared Valentine's Day post joking about the death of George Floyd. Tonight, KCAL 9's Rachel Kim has the latest on the investigation. It's outrage. This is beyond insult on top of injury. It's injury on top of, of death. Today, community activist Naji Ali read a statement from the attorney for George Floyd's family in reaction to this. A photo of George Floyd with the words, you take my breath away in a Valentine-like reading. An LAPD internal investigation is now underway after an employee reported that the photo was circulated among officers. This man had a foot on his neck for over eight minutes and died at the hands of the police and yet someone within the LAPD thinks it was funny. Any LAPD mocking the death of George Floyd should be terminated. Over the weekend, Chief Michael Moore told KNX Radio he's disgusted and that there's no place in LAPD for anyone who shares racist material. It's a privilege to be a member of this organization, and it's a privilege that can be lost. The LAPD said today that they're unable to comment further on a pending personnel investigation. But the police union issued a statement that says, in part, if that image was created, liked, or shared by a member of the LAPD, the chief of police must act swiftly to hold those individuals accountable. There must be zero tolerance for this behavior in our profession. LA County District Attorney George Gascon issued a statement that says, in part, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office will be looking into this matter to determine if the integrity of any of our cases may have been compromised by biased police work. Some in the community are hopeful this does not strain relations with the department. I don't want no one to be putting out things to destroy our relationship with law enforcement because we got to have a relationship. And I hope this builds us stronger. Rachel Kim, KCAL 9 News. LA City Attorney Mike Fuhrer released in a statement. He says, in part, no one with racist views has any place in our police force. It is outrageous that anyone sworn to serve our city would ever conceive of creating or distributing this image. Whoever participated in this incident stains the badge and undermines the efforts of officers throughout the department.